When I was a child, I would lie on, in our backyard underneath these huge oak trees and wonder, you know, where did we come from? Who are we? And of course, the great apes are our closest living relatives in the animal kingdom, and so I was very much drawn to them, animals who were very closely related to us. When I went to UCLA, I met Louis Leakey and told him what I wanted to do. I wanted to study orangutans. He was a great paleoanthropologist, archaeologist, and he was already a living legend. I knew that he would help me. Borneo was one of the last wild places left on this earth. It was very much isolated from the rest of the world. I couldn't believe it. It was like a dream. I was there to do science. I was there to do research on orangutan life histories. But I also knew that they were in trouble. Much of what we know about orangutans can be credited to Dr. Birute Mary Galdikas. For over 50 years, Dr. Galdikas has conducted groundbreaking research and conservation efforts focused on critically endangered orangutans in the jungles of Indonesian Borneo. Through her organization, Orangutan Foundation International, she has dedicated herself to saving rainforest habitats as well as the rehabilitation and release of hundreds of orphaned orangutans. Her early studies on orangutan behavior and ecology forever changed the way we thought of our close, wild relatives. I was following wild orangutans by myself, day in, day out. So I documented a lot of things that people didn't know about orangutans. I was learning that they are semi-solitary, the males fought each other for access to females. I learned what they eat. I was elated. In the 1970s, Dr. Galdikas rose to fame as one of the faces of the new animal conservation movement. Along with Jane Goodall and Diane Fossey, she became known as one of Dr. Louis Leakey's trimates. Protection of the rainforest meant constant battles against poachers, logging interests, and the planting of palm oil fields. Galdikas was becoming internationally renowned, but the fight on the ground was anything but glamorous. Dr. G is very soft-spoken, but the life she has led in trying to save these orangutans is anything but soft. She almost died of malaria. She's been kidnapped. She's had death threats. And I don't know of anybody who's gone through quite as much as that. You know, you get a certain amount of, you might call it celebrity, but the celebrity doesn't protect you against the illegal loggers and the palm oil plantation concessionaires. I was struggling against an industry that was making billions of dollars. It did sometimes come to physical violence. The major impact of palm oil on orangutans is that it basically decimates their home. Because palm oil is grown in massive monocropped areas, the forest is cut down and they no longer have anywhere to live. Barute has a brilliant and perfect mix of tenacity and also great diplomacy when dealing with elected officials. And she's accomplished so much in terms of orangutans and many other species protected where the orangutans live and thrive. At the heart of Dr. Galdikas' extraordinary life mission is Camp Leakey, her remote field station deep in the Tanjun Puting National Park. Here, Dr. Galdikas and her team continue the vital conservation work she began over a half century ago. Jelas, uh, Dr. Birute itu memang menginspirasi untuk banyak orang. Saya berpikir kalau tidak ada Dr. Birute, mungkin orang hutan sudah punah. Well, I think her work is so important not just to save the orangutans, but to save all of us. I think she's a hero every bit as much as Diane Fossey and Jane Goodall. The love between the orangutans and Dr. G is just 
I, I can't find words for it. It's just so special. They know that she is helping them. They know it. We need orangutans because we need nature. We need orangutans to teach us how we are human. They show us where we've been. They also help us understand where we're going. <laughs>